Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. Today I wanted to teach you how to safely store your mason bee block and how exactly to do that. When we say holes upright, back in your shipping box, what do we mean when we say that and why are we saying that? So I wanted to teach you about uh, how to store them, the temperatures to store them at, and when it's safe to ship them back. So I'll say it a few times in here, but please don't ship your nesting blocks back until September. Uh, even if there are no holes, um, in your nesting block you'll be surprised how many people don't think they have any but deep inside there are little babies in here and I just shared a video with you a couple weeks ago about what are your baby bees doing where you get to see inside and how teeny tiny and fragile the larvae are and that they have to eat that pollen and then spin their silk cocoon uh, so it's really important to remove these at the end of spring so once you see your mason bees done flying uh, no more bee activity then you want to very gently remove your nesting material, whether it's the stacking trays, uh, uh, cardboard tubes that you can unravel, and hopefully you're not using uh, holes with uh, or logs with holes drilled in it or bamboo reeds because those are the worst type of nesting material to use because you can't open them up and harvest and clean them and over time you're actually producing more of a predator habitat than a solitary bee habitat. So I'll post videos down below on if you are ready to transition from the old nesting material to the proper nesting material. I have all sorts of videos on how to do that. Um, but let's talk about saving your current little baby bees that are in your uh, nesting blocks. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to gently remove them from the black house. Um, I have gotten some reports that there are earwigs that they found when they pull that out. Well, of course, earwigs love black, dark spots. Uh, so a little trick that we do is if you do see a bunch of earwigs, just take your nesting block very gently with the holes upright, set it out in the sun. Just set it out, kind of move it around, maybe gently lay it on its side where you had it originally in your, um, in your black house, but just move it around. Earwigs hate the sunlight. They're going to scurry off and go go find other places to hide that are dark. Um, so that's a trick that you can do to get rid of any earwigs, if there are any, in your uh, nesting block. It's usually back behind the house. Sometimes they like this cardboard filling um, as well. So just get it out in the sunshine. Uh, and then um, all you really need to do is very safely uh, store them with the holes upright. We say that because we've learned over all the years doing this that it actually helps the little larvae sit on the pollen loaf. If you remember from the video that I did about what are your baby bees doing, you can see how the mom will crawl all the way in and she'll go mud, pollen, baby, mud, mud, pollen, baby, mud. So when you're putting the holes upright, you're actually helping that larvae sit on top of the pollen. Yeah, she can just roll over and eat the little pollen. Very easy for her to act, him or her to access that little pollen loaf that mom left for it. And then it will grow big and chubby and then spin a silk cocoon and then hibernate in your nesting block. When it's time to mail these back, September is when you need to mail them back. So for right now, you just need to store them back in your box that we shipped everything to you. Now I know the lids don't close, that's okay. You're not wanting to seal them up right now. Um, you would just wanna store them with the holes upright outside, get them out of the elements outside where the birds and the mono wasps can get to them. Just store them in a, in a garage or a shed. Temperatures in your garage or shed, they don't need to be climate controlled. So don't worry about if it's, um, 95 or less is best. I got a call um, today from somebody in Las Vegas saying this his garage heats up to over 100. So maybe maybe not so much there. So maybe in your home it's air conditioned. But for the most part, these little bees don't need to be climate controlled when you're just storing them over the summertime. Uh, they'll grow into that um, full grown uh, larvae and then they'll spin the cocoon and then that's when it's safe to then put this on its side and mail it back to us in September. Now, some people like to uh, wrap them up in uh, tiny little mesh bags um, tool. I just bought this from the fabric store. It's a yard and it cost $1.50 for this big tool. And look, you can get colors, blues and pinks and blacks, so you can wrap your bees up in all sorts of really fun things. So if you did want to wrap your bees up, um, some people prefer this because it keeps out earwigs or spiders or anything that might get into them, or if there's anything in your nesting block, that's going back in your garage, you don't want them to crawl out. So very, very easy to do that if you wanted to. You just put it in the middle of some tool, kind of like a little Easter basket, wrap it up like that. Hair band for my hair. We'll use it for the Mason Bee House. You can just wrap it up. So now 
they're in here safe and secure and then you can put it back in the in the in the shipping box again with the holes upright they need air so you don't want to store your nesting block in a garbage bag um, in a cooler that's closed if you do want temperature control the cooler does need to remain open um, but definitely store it it needs the, the little babies inside need air so you can't put them in a big garbage bag um, so this is just a trick that some people use I've I've never used the bag but I hear from a lot of people they like it and um, I know there's a lot of other um, people that are, are showing pictures of this right now so super cheap dollar fifty down at the fabric store just pick up your own tool all sorts of different colors so that's that's all there is to it so you want to store your bees uh, with the holes upright and uh, don't worry about the temperature control um, shed or garage that you're putting them in. Um, earwigs, if you have any earwigs, the trick with them is just to, they like dark spots. So just take the, if you do have a lot of earwigs when you pull it out, just set this outside. They won't like the sunlight. They'll crawl off, they'll scurry off, move it to another spot. Oh, they'll crawl off and scurry off. So just kind of move them around in the outside for a day. And you should get rid of most of the earwigs that are in here. And then if you do still see some and you're a little worried about them getting out in your garage, just go buy $1.50 at the, at the fabric store. It's just super cheap, rubber band, tool, and then you're done. So, so hopefully that helps answer a lot of the questions that I'm getting right now. What do I do? How do I store it? The temperature? Um, why the holes up? And earwigs. I'm getting those those questions right now. So you're not alone if you're in the same category. Um, but please reference our uh, blog on our website. So rentmasonbees.com. Go to the blog tab. I put everything on there. I've got our videos. I've got our backlog of our newsletters. Um, Anything that you need to find, we put on there. Uh, and then please follow our, our newsletter. There's a link on our homepage to sign up for our newsletters where we I also send you all of this information as well and give you tips and tricks and all of that on how to be a great solitary bee host. So hopefully everyone's mason bees are wrapping up their season. Some are still out flying. If you don't see any activity, go ahead and uh, remove that block safely and store it in the shipping box. Mail back in September. September, September, not any sooner. Please mail back in September. Plus, we don't have anyone at the shop right now. So if everybody starts mailing stuff back, those boxes are just going to sit out there because um, we are uh, taking some time off before the big, big rush of all the box coming back in and that's going through those. So um, so anyways, give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to email us at info at rentmasonbees.com. And uh, yeah, happy pollinating. Thank you so much for hosting, everyone. Have a great summer. Bye.